fresh herbs can instantly upgrade any dish, but buying them at the grocery store weekly actually can add up. Fortunately, you don't have to have a green thumb to grow your own herbs at home. So we're getting some help on this one here, folks, to grow an indoor container garden. We got Group General Manager of the Lifestyle website, The Spruce. It specializes in tips to help tend your garden like a pearl. And home and gardening expert, Melanie Berlier, is here to help us out. Container gardening, why would, why would we go this route? So container gardening is all about planting inside a container mm -hmm. instead of in the actual ground, okay. which is great if you don't have a backyard or a garden bed. We love it because it's really easy to do. You do not need a lot of space, and it's a really fun family-friendly activity. Yeah, and it can actually save you some money. So we're talking about planting herbs and some vegetables. Right, yes. things that you're going to use in your cooking, right? So why not run to the living room and snip a few leaves of basil and add that to your meal? Oh. You do a little this, cherry don't you? tomato. Don't you yeah, do this? I do do this. I love it. <laughs> Rosemary, you can do all basil. Nothing's it's amazing. fresher okay. than herbs in your own indoor garden. How do we do this the right way? And what are the keys? What, you got to have soil? Do you have to have drainage? What, what do you need? So first you want to think about planting good neighbors. At the spruce, we recommend planting herbs that are going to thrive in the same conditions. And what you need is a potting mixture. Don't use regular dirt. A potting mixture from your local grocery, not grocery, I'm sorry sorry, nursery or gardening <laughs> center is going to include fertilizer, which is really key to growing healthy plants. So you don't need to add fertilizer if you actually have the planting soil. If you have the proper potting mixture, it should include okay. fertilizer. You can always add a little bit of extra okay. fertilizer if that's your thing, though. And then you're going to need the right container. This is a traditional pot, which works. You can use something like a biodegradable egg carton as well. Or at the spruce, sometimes we use like thrifted teacups for really interesting. Oh, what okay. makes it the right one, though? How do you know what the right one is? It's all about you. Oh, okay. You know, what's the aesthetic of your home? Ah, what's going to go. look right? What reflects your personality? Oh, there it is. But <laughs> drainage is key because if it, it can rot the uh, roots, yes. correct, if you don't get the right container. That's absolutely correct. Plants can drown, too, so you want to make sure you get um, a pot with a nice hole. This is about one inch in diameter, and you can always add extra holes if you want more drainage. All right, and so let's go ahead and do it. Show us how we would plant your typical let's do indoor it. container garden. Absolutely. It's super easy. So we have already laid out a layer of permeable window screening. You can use landscaping fabric as well, and this is going to keep your soil in and insects out. Okay. Next, you're going to place your potting mixture inside your container. We've already done that here, leaving about one to two inches from the top. And why do you do that? You know, just to make sure you have enough room to put the plant, which comes with a little soil, from its nursery pot. And then when pot. you water it, the soil won't spill out, because that exactly. might have happened to me once or twice. Great All right. point. All right. Now it's time to dig. Are you going to dig, Amy? Sure, sure. Or is I'll it just going to be me? I'll dig. All right. So you're going to dig a nice size hole. Okay. Got my gardening gloves. <laughs> yes. And great. put it here. Yeah, you can put it there. Okay. And next. We're going to just leave enough space so there's room for our plant. Okay. You want to remove it from the pot or shall I? You're going to go big? Right? I'm going to go wow, big. Wow, why not? Go, go big. big. Go it should be removed pretty easily. Just squeeze if you need bottom. a butter knife around yep. the edge, that I just, works. I just squeeze. Great. <laughs> and now we're going to add a little more, you know, make it comfy cozy. You All want right. your plant to feel at home. All right. And how often do you need to be watering these? You know, we say damp, not wet. Okay. You want to water gently and generously, but keep in mind that you don't want to overwater. And if you want to um, give it a little test, you just stick your finger right in there. Everyone, oh, stick your finger right the in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And if your second damp. knuckle feels wet, you're moist enough for a while. <laughs> okay. And how much sunlight? <laughs> it, 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 you, the more the better, right? Sunlight is great. The great thing about containers is that you can move them easily throughout your home, wherever the light is hitting at that particular hour. Um, and yeah, it's super simple and fun. <laughs> Fantastic. And you don't have to worry about too much uh, heat there because it's all indoors and climate controlled. Melanie Berlier, thank mm. you so much for being with us. You can find out more about container gardening and many other lifestyle topics on the Spruce website. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.